What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we have the three quarter scale 27 inch upright from Micro Center. So the big thing about this whole three quarter scale cabinet from Micro Center, number one, there's no videos, there's not many like pictures, not really a lot of like um, customer reviews on this. So I'll be reviewing it. No, this wasn't supplied by Micro Center. No, this isn't sponsored. Um, basically a friend on the Facebook group, uh, his name is Keo, so shout out to Keo. He basically found, or I guess got an email about a sale they had on this. I posted a deal that I found uh, Christmas time. They had this cabinet for $6.99. And I thought it was a good deal Christmas time, but I was too busy with orders. He just posted like four or five days ago, this cabinet for $5.99. And I said, you know what? Let me jump on it because $5.99 is a pretty insane deal for a 27 inch, three quarter scale arcade cabinet. Now, if you guys don't know, you can take a look back at my videos. I made a video of one time, I, I mean, this may be what, maybe two years ago. I basically walked into Micro Center and I was like, what the hell is this? They have a whole arcade section. Um, there's a whole controversial thing with Game Room Solutions and Micro Center, which I honestly, again, it's, it's not 100% sure. This is my personal opinion. I think Micro Center right now is liquidating all of their arcade stuff. For it to be this price, and not to mention, I don't really see a lot of activity on their end. So I feel like this is on sale because they are liquidating. They lost the battle against Game Room Solutions. I've spoken to Ryan a while back because I guess he did see my video. Um, and I've actually spoken to Ryan a while back and basically he kind of let me in on the big secret that basically the guys at Micro Center basically bought his cabinet, copied it like tooth and nail. He even sent me like a whole bunch of email letters of like this person that was just a customer asking a lot of questions. And then shockingly, Micro Center basically just copied his plan. Really his plan that they copied was the upright and the bar top. This three quarter inch scale, I, I Game Room Solutions did not make this. I have yet to see this anywhere, but enough with that. Basically, I'm gonna talk about this cabinet and the specs on it. So again, shout out to Keo for finding the deal on this. Um, I'm in New York, so after taxes, this complete set came out to 650 bucks. Um, a couple of things I personally did as add-ons, um, but for 650 bucks for a 27 inch upright i mean that's that's a pretty good deal that's why i jumped on it i'll get out of selfie mode let's take a closer look at what i did to this cabinet so again just to recap this is the 27 inch three quarter scale arcade cabinet micro center has three cabinets one is the full upright which is an exact duplicate of game room solutions this right here is like their mid-size i guess you could call it but it's, it's actually a full-size cabinet three quarter scale, 27 inch, and their other one is the 22 inch bar top. Again, really cool cabinet. I'll be honest, I do like the design of it. I do like the side profile, pretty slim, um, almost like a Viewlinks style cabinet, but all in all for basically 650 bucks, it was a no brainer. A couple of downsides, you know, I would say there's a lot of pros and cons to it, but there are a couple of cons to it. Biggest pro, considering the price I paid, is the monitor. This is running a Acer K273. This monitor alone on their website is like 220 bucks. 75 hertz, like one millisecond lag, like the monitor alone, it's insane. The crazy thing is that their ad doesn't show what monitor it is, there's no specs. It's just labeled as a 27 inch HD TV. If you look at the pictures, you'll see like it's an Acer with a curved mount. Basically, I made sure that when they did bring this out, I wanted to make sure I had the curved mount because they had no specs like on their spec sheet of anything. Sure enough, the, uh, the sales rep came out and he came out with this K253, I believe. I'll post it down below. But shockingly, the monitor alone, 220 bucks. I mean, it's talking a third of the price of the cabinet just in the monitor. That's really why I jumped on it. Again, 27 inch screen. So again, I'm just gonna shoot this real quick. As you can see, this is the monitor that's inside of this, the K273, full HD, 75 Hertz, HDMI. 
IPS monitor. Again, $220. That's the monitor that is in this. Biggest thing I probably would have done if I had the customer, I would definitely probably do a hyperspin PC build. That monitor alone would look amazing playing, let's say, Street Fighter V or even Mortal Kombat 11. Now, looking at Micro Center's page right here, you can see here it is the Atari three quarter scale arcade for $5.99. So, um, a couple of things about this again, Atari, Atari three quarter scale. I doubt Atari really sponsors this or, like, I don't know sponsors the whole build to it um a couple of downsides um artwork you can't swap i went to micro center i said hey i want this and i thought i was gonna like go and like pick my own buttons and pick my joysticks no this is all pre-packaged three boxes one box was the cabinet another box just had all like the buttons the joysticks uh the team molding the speakers in it and the last box was the monitor so I was under the impression that I was gonna be able to just walk in and kind of pick each button or each color I wanted, but they actually wheeled out with a pre-packaged setup. So you can't change the artwork, which in all honesty with Micro Center's artwork, this is very nice. I do actually enjoy this artwork. I posted it on my Instagram and I already posted this on Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp and people do like the artwork. It is solid artwork compared to their other like random ones which is like the big yellow retro arcade thing, which is ugly as hell. I don't know who designed that, but artwork, I do give it a, you know, it's a plus. It's a good nine out of 10. I'm just not a fan of what they did with the marquee, which I'll talk about later on. Um, but the biggest thing I wasn't a fan of was the colors for the buttons. They only gave basically black and white. So it was literally like a blacked out midnight edition. I would have called it like the stealth edition. Um, again, this is all in a box. Micro Center just has everything baggied. Even like their micro switches are in a baggie. So like unbagging all these was kind of a pain in the ass. But um, joysticks, sad part. Um, they do have Lorenzo joysticks in Micro Center. Um, these look like Lorenzo's, but they are not. I was kind of upset with that because I did want to try out the Lorenzo's. Um, but... This is the joystick that it came. It comes with. It's an eight-way joystick. It's kind of a you know. It's it. Listen, it's a joystick, but I wasn't a fan of the color scheme, so I basically bought a Zuzu Hap um, Cherry Switch kit, um, red, white, and blue. I do like my Street Fighter kind of color combo, but it kind of does go with like asteroids, I guess you could say. Um, so the red, white, and blues did not come with the kit. I did Zuzu Hap competition joysticks. Again, that came with a separate kit from eBay. So the joysticks and the buttons you see here did not come from Micro Center. Um, I did use a couple of them. You know, I didn't have like the coin buttons and all that, but uh, at least their start I was able to use. Um, that was really the only downside. I was not able to select my own button colors. The ad does say like 12 black and seven whites or whatever. So. Can't really complain too much about that. In their picture, it was black T-molding, but I was very surprised to see the chrome T-molding in the box. So that was a pretty big plus. Chrome, chrome T-molding does look great on this cabinet. Um, no LEDs whatsoever with their build. So, you know, $15 LED strip from Amazon is a no-brainer. They do have a 32 gigabyte Atari kind of file that I think you have to download. Um, I scrapped it. I basically stick with my 128 gigabyte SD card. It comes with a Pi 3B plus, not the Pi 4. Again, it was just the parts alone for this, uh, I'm shocked at the price tag. I mean, button kits is usually a hundred bucks, you know, a little bit less, okay, maybe 70 bucks. Uh, Raspberry Pi, if I get it on Amazon with an SD card, it's about 110 bucks. Um, LED kit is 16, that's nothing. The, again, the monitor, 220. So 220 for the monitor, figure 80 bucks for the buttons and the Raspberry Pi. I mean, you're already in the range of about 400 bucks and then 200 bucks for like the wood. It's a no brainer, I had to jump on it. Now discussing about the artwork, that was kind of a big warning. I mean, Micro Center is a kind of a DIY tech kind of thing. Artwork you have to apply. If you have no patience for it, you will be frustrated as hell. 
Also, the vinyl is very cheap. I mean, it is a, it's like a cheap sticker. So if you're the type that noticed that it's not straight and you peel it off, it's gonna not re-stick. So the artwork alone probably took me about an hour and a half to put on and it's everything. You got the two side panels, you got the control panel, the bezel you have to put, which is a pain in the ass, even the front kick plate that you have to put. This piece right here you have to put, and the marquee you have to put. So all the vinyl, the artwork, or else it would have just been a straight black cabinet. You have to do that. So be prepared for that task alone, which is applying the vinyl. With their vinyl, though, there was not much bleed. I would probably say, and yes, you do have to cut. I probably have a bunch of strands still around on the floor. But basically, the artwork, just like any other artwork, is a little bit bigger than the panel. I would probably say it gave about a half inch bleed. So you had, you know, a pretty decent amount of space here. But on the sides, no. On the sides was like maybe a quarter of an inch of play. So you had to really get that right or else you would have really screwed up the artwork. But again, Atari artwork. I love the centipede side. Like, that's just beast. Of, of a picture of a like I I actually enjoy the artwork on this and uh, a couple of the viewers and the fans they do like the artwork as well last thing about the artwork was this downside here the marquee oh you can't even tell that I have LEDs on this unless you look at the kick plate you just can't tell this marquee that they use they use regular vinyl you could barely see through it it's actually a sticker it's a regular sticker um, but if I turn the lights off you will then see it. Okay. So now that the light is off, you could see the LED. It comes out brighter on the camera. It is not that bright in person. Um, again, and the other big thing, they only give you one piece of plexi. This vinyl is sticked on the back, not on the front. So it would have been great to kind of have the plexiglass feel here or they should have given us another piece of plexiglass in front, like a sandwich. They did not do that. So you could actually feel the sticker on this. Somebody could definitely scratch this, if anything. That was my only kind of big complaint as far as the artwork was the marquee didn't have a plexi in front and it is not trans light. You could see like, depending on the color, the Atari logo will basically fade out and evaporate. Also Atari and then Mario font for retro i uh, not too sure who designed that, but I get it. I get it. It's retro. Okay. So now that the light is off, you could see the LED. It comes out brighter on the camera. It is not that bright in person. Um, again, and the other big thing, they only give you one piece of plexi. This vinyl is sticked on the back, not on the front. So it would have been great to kind of have the plexiglass feel here or they should have given us another piece of plexiglass in front, like a sandwich. They did not do that. So you could actually feel the sticker on this. Somebody could definitely scratch this if anything. That was my only kind of big complaint as far as the artwork was the marquee didn't have a plexi in front and it is not trans light. You could see like depending on the color, the Atari logo will basically fade out and evaporate. Also Atari and then Mario font for retro i uh, not too sure who designed that, but I get it. I get it. It's retro. Okay. Now, big thing here to note, T-Molding, it happens sometimes even with Game Room Solutions cabinets, um, but a couple of misguided edges. Nothing too drastic. It's just some people do notice it. You definitely notice it up here on the marquee. You can literally see. No, it's not the T-Molding. No, the T-Molding is not bent. It is just the way that was cut, maybe got elevated a little bit when they were cutting it. Um, but all in all, I mean, I can't really complain for 650 bucks. It's solid. Now, if you look at the control deck, this is running a Zinmo. They do have their Zinmo, so I have all that. I got the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi did not come with heat sinks, so I don't have this overclocked right now. I got heat sinks on the way and PlayStation controllers. They do come with a audio amp which is pretty solid. I mean, pretty loud. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is pretty loud. Um, just no subwoofer. I'm so used to my subwoofer builds. Um, speakers, very nice. 
my only downside as far as the cabinet now, this back door really rubs against the T-molding here. Like that I know is gonna probably just be butchered, um, but it's not too bad. Speakers are nice. Only stupid thing is that they did not supply the caps for the wire ends. And also their speaker wire that they supply, it was no joke, like 10 inches long. So I don't know where they wanted you to put, they probably wanted you to put the amp up here. It, there was not enough speaker wire, but again, they did not supply the wire caps for this. So get ready for either soldering or hopefully you grab a couple of these. I don't even think they have these at Micro Center, but I have a bunch. Um, same thing as far as talking about the cabinet. Um, as far as the rear, I did cut this hole here because they do give you a power strip with like a six foot cord. It's just, I don't know where they would want you to put this power strip. They probably wanted you to put it right here on this ledge. That means that the power strip would have been here and then like sticking out. I wasn't a fan of it. So I literally took, I think it's like a two inch hole I made just to pass the actual outlet head through. I didn't want to cut. I didn't want to splice this extension cord just in case. Um, but again, game room solution style kind of hinges cam lock system. There's my power strip. It's not too bad. Again, it's, it's pretty decent. It's not too bad at all. One thing that I didn't note about their kind of cabinet is their monitor mount. It's pretty smart. Actually, uh, game room solutions, it's cam locked in. So if you ever had to change your monitor, you would have to literally take out all the cam locks on the sides, take the walls out. This one here, you just actually take the screws out and the monitor mount comes out. So I did kind of like that. Um, basically the only kind of plus to it. Cabinet does have a lot of room. I do like the shelf that's here. And as you can see, it, it works. Now, great thing. This is my first time ever doing Zuzu Hap competition joysticks. Man, these joysticks, I mean, I've never experienced them. I usually use my Sanwas. Uh, and I did want to use the Lorenzo's that they usually have at Micro Center. Um, I for sure cannot hit a one-handed Hadouken with these joysticks. Also, cherry switches. First time I did it, I found like a kit on eBay. And I said, you know what, let me just buy it. And I've always had it like in my little corner. And so when I opened up the kit and I found that I cannot basically change the buttons, I even contacted the Micro Center through like chat. And I was like, hey, I got this kit. Can I swap out the button colors? They said, no, you have to bring the whole kit back. It's they, they won't let me swap out the colors. So um, these switches are really good because doesn't take that much effort to really hit compared to you could kind of hear like that's my regular micro switch. These are my cherries. So I think I have them here. Yeah, see. That's my normal concave, like Game Room Solutions, Micro Center provided that type of click. But the competition ones that I have with the cherry switches, these feel nice. Let's do two player. Again, anytime you get a build for me, always load up Street Fighter. It's just a great game to test out all six buttons to make sure it works. I know, I, I even did it on Instagram, I'm not gonna hit this one-handed Hadouken. Oh, okay. Maybe I can, <laughs> but the joystick on this is very, it's just, it's stiff. It's, it's a whole different feel. It is again, a competition joystick. Definitely the spring. You could really feel the spring back on this. So you could even take a look at the bottom, the barrel, you kind of see like this design here looks way different. This is the same design that the Lorenzo's had in micro center that I thought they were going to give me, but these are the ones that they gave me. Basically, there is no like barrel to it. It's like your standard joystick. But I do like these, honestly. This just has like a whole different feel. Very sensitive, very like awesome feeling to it. I just can't hit one handed Hadoukens with these though. But so far, so good. Again, 128 gigabyte SD card. Um, I got to do the wireless PS3 controllers. And this build is basically done. Now, some people like to see like the undercarriage and all that, how wiring is. Uh, Micro Center Zinmo, like their wires are kind of not thick. They're just not too flexible. But I mean, that's just Zinmo on it. Um, but not too bad.
there's their amp. We got the Pi, got the LED controller there. So basically, if you think about it, um, 650 bucks, you would have had a 32 gigabyte SD card and just basically black buttons, which is great. Uh, no LEDs to it. Basically, me, Percy, I did 650 for the cabinet. I didn't want their buttons and joysticks, so I had to spend another 80 bucks on the buttons and joysticks, but I don't really throw those out. Those are just gonna be spares on that. So 80 bucks after 650, figure 20 bucks for the SD card, and another 20 for the LED strip. I mean, not too bad. Figure about 700 and, I don't know, whatever the math is on that, 760 is what I'm in. Uh, not too bad. Now, now the last big thing about this cabinet that I noticed, um, I don't even know why even Game Room Solutions doesn't do it. They should continue the T-molding on the bottom to avoid any chipping. Um, but the big thing that I did notice, and usually when I have my cabinets, I like to put them on dollies. Um, this cabinet here has this bottom plate right here, which is this label G. This bottom plate is actually levitated. So it's not actually sitting on the floor. You can see I could put my hand underneath here. This bottom plate is literally about maybe, I don't know, what is that, an, maybe an inch and a half high. So when I put it on the the dolly, you really have to put the put the dolly underneath the actual sides here. You can't put it underneath. You might actually rip out that bottom shelf, which is being supported by cam locks, basically. So that's only downside, being careful when you do move these things. Because again, going back to what I said about the vinyl, um, luckily I do have this on cardboard, but the other side, you kind of see that the vinyl on the bottom, it's not drastic, but it is starting to basically come out. Not drastic, you know what I mean? But it is something to think about. Again, the vinyl, it is what it is. I do remember when I went to go see a client that had Micro Center is 32 upright. He did the artwork and it was like butchered. It was sideways. It wasn't like aligned. And he was like, Vic, I just got tired. I didn't give a damn anymore. My kids wanted to play with it. So <laughs> artwork is not an easy thing, especially when it came to the bezel. You could notice this gap here on the bezel. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's noticeable basically just to make sure that it clears the control panel. But this is a, that's a gap. Same thing up top here, a little bit. Can't complain too much. There you guys have it, Micro Centers, three quarter scale, 27 inch arcade.